hello everyone welcome to my channel msk civil engineering tutorial today we will cover a new topic highway engineering and this is the first lecture of this series we will start with chapter 1 as introduction what is first of all we have to know what is highway engineering highway engineering kya hai kya cheez hai highway engineering why we will study about highway engineering which branch of engineering is highway engineering then we will move to further first of all highway engineering highway is the branch of engineering highway is the branch of transportation engineering so basically transportation engineering deals with movement of goods passengers and vehicles from one place to other and by means of road or railway or tunnel or airway or waterway basically we can divide transport engineering in three broad part that is land water and air in land we can divide it into highway engineering and railway engineering and tunnel engineering and in water in water we can divide it to ship way only and in air 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 way only the aeroplane then coming to this subject highway engineering introduction chapter so basically we will study about the in highway engineering about the vehicles movement on the road and their transportation so first chapter we will cover importance of highway engineering in transportation and what are the different major organization are available for the highway engineering then what is the function of indian road congress then what are the different classification of road according to irc okay then first part we will cover about highway engineering and its importance so highway as as in introductory i have already tell that highway engineering is the branch of engineering branch of transportation engineering which deals with the design construction and maintenance of different types of road different types of road means our nh sh national highway state highway major district road and other district road etc then what are the importance of highway highway is the vein of our country vein of any country that will supply goods passengers to one place to another so it country's growth will define by the development of their road in their country first of all first importance major importance is to provide conveyance means people can transport their goods raw materials from one place to other place then next important point is source of communication in hill region in a untrapped area how we can move in that area that will provide highway engineering then economic development or agricultural development agricultural development means dairy development fishery development next development is development of tourism next maintenance of law and order what is the maintenance of law and order when we design a new road we have to provide signaling system what is the speed limit then what type of vehicle will move on that road then where to turn where not to parking this are these are the law and order maintenance in a road then development of forestry 
improvement of medical facilities how it will improve the medical facilities by providing a good road we can access the medical easily then improvement of land value the cost of land at the side of road generally increases as the quality of road and the importance of road increases then generate the more employment opportunity how employment opportunity generated as one person one material one good transport to other places other place of the country then it provides some kind of employment to the people of that country they play an important role in defense activities as previously we discussed that it provide it the only access to the hilly areas as in defense activities are mostly work out in the hilly areas it is very plays a very important role in defense activities then it is the symbol of growth of progress of and development growth of how it will progress the development of country by performing this important activities then in short how we will say that what are the different different importance of highway engineering first of all it's convenience it provide convenience it provide convenience that means people can travel one place to other place then symbol of growth of country as the roads are very good quality the people can transport their goods and they also tra- move one place to other place very easily and that will define the symbol of the growth of the country by developing their economic then social development then means of communication means of communication means we are providing transportation to on trapped area or hill area or on accessible area then employment generation then economic development then coming to next the what are the different organizations available or what are the different committees available to provide design and specification for the road the first committees we will cover is irc that is indian road congress this committee was formed this committee was formed by the recommendation of jaikar committee a committee named jaikar as the chief engineer at that time in 1934 he suggested a committee and by his name jaikar committee formed and he suggested few design and specification for the road then from their committee irc formed in 1934 okay then what are the functions of irc how irc uh, providing sorry what is the importance of irc irc is the name indian road congress it is constituted to provide a forum for the regular pulling the technical ideas experience and know how to for the planning of the development of the road throughout the country road how will improve the road quality how the materials are improved how we can use locally available material this all this planning can be done from the don sorry hourly planning can be done by the irc then irc provide recommended specification regarding design and construction of the road in the country next irc collaborated with ministry of surface transport of government of india and publishes journal standard specification guidelines and various aspect of highway engineering then what are the different function as we already cover few functions of irc that uh, it design specifies few point or few materials about the road then what are the the functions of irc then functions of irc the irc are provide a forum for the expression of collective opinion of all of its member to for the construction and maintenance of for the construction and maintenance of the road in india the first important point is for the construction and maintenance of road second important point it promotes the use of standard specification and practice so irc will provide some specification what is the width of road what is the thickness of road what are the different material in different layer of the road 
दिस आर प्रोवाइडेड बाय आईआरसी एंड आफ्टर आईआरसी वी हैव टू मूव ऑन ऑन द रोड आईआरसी प्रोवाइड सर्टेन कोड्स लाइक आईआरसी 6 आईआरसी 34 दीज आर सम फ्यू कोड्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड इन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ हाईवे इंजीनियर सो सेकंड पॉइंट इज standard specification and practice then third point it provides suggestion for better movement sorry for better method of planning designing construction administration and maintenance road so hrc provides plan better method better method means they have already research about it that's why they providing better method about it planning designing construction administration and maintenance of the road only the function of irc is not to provide specification not to do the uh, construction of road they also provide the maintenance of road then conduct a periodical meeting to discuss uh, about technical problem regarding the road means technical problem means while execution of the road what are the different problems we are we face on the site this problems solution is also uh, uh, this problem solution is also solved by the IRC by conducting periodical meeting between their engineers. It makes for the law of for the development and improvement and protection of the road. Means how the road will uh, uh, can be used for so long means, means it can give durability. Then how the road can be improved. What, the, what are the different speed limit, what are the criteria of the vehicle that will move on the road, that will provide by the IRC. Then it provides museum and libraries for encouraging how the science of road development started. Then next is CRRI. What is CRRI? CRRI is the Central Road Research Institute. What is What are the function of CRRI? CRRI as we know CRRI means Central Road Research Center. that means it will research it will research it will research on the locally available material and what are the different uh, aspect of design it will research on that and provide certain method and provide consultancy to the or, uh, road organization like NHA then what are the function how it will uh, vary from IRC. IRC provides design and specification about the road, but CRI provides about CRI provides what are the different material, how we can available, how we can use local available material uh, like slag or anything new like what are the different local available material means the stone dust, slag. Uh, like any other uh, material like morum what are locally available how the road can be cost effective that will research by the CRRI and IRC is provided specification these are the major difference between IRC and CRRI so what are the basic functions of or what are the service offered by the CRRI CRRI carries basic and applied research for the design construction and maintenance how we can conveniently design a road and maintain that road that will provide by CRRI. It carries research on traffic safety and transport economics. So it will provide us the safety about traffic, how the speed, how the traffic can move with that speed limit, how we can maintain that speed limit. It will provide that for the uh, for the road. Then. It carries research on economical utilization of locally available material for the construction and maintenance of road, as already discussed. Then research for the development of new machinery, tool, equipment, instrument for the highway engineering. It provides technical advice to consultancy service to various organizations like NHAI. Then what are the different classifications of IRC classification of road? So, these are the different classification of road like national highway, state highway, other district road, major district road and village road. So national highway are the roads which run between states or more than two states 
and this road are moved at the outer boundary of city and state highway means it will run between state to state or that means neighboring state then or other district road this this road are run between uh, the major district talukas to the district headquarter and major district road are the road which are run between between the city then village road it provide access for the villager to the other district road then broadly we will discuss about the ic classification of road this is a national highway so these are some example of national highway nh1 nh2 nh3 then nh are the road which are uh, pro, which are moving total length of breadth of the country and it provides major portion of the sorry country's major portion of the road are covered by national highways that is up to 30 to 50 percent of the road that is up to 30 to 50 percent of the road are sorry that is 30 to 50 percent of the traffic are carried by national highway then what is state highway state highway are the road which are like national highway this is a state highway this is a picture of state highway state highway are the road which are connecting the states with national highways and adjoining state means neighboring state and district headquarter important city within the city are known as provincial also known as provincial highways the responsibility of maintenance and construction of this road are lies with state government however central government gives grant for the development of this road and the development is recommended by crri and irc then major district road major district road are the road which are serving the district within that means major district are the important road within the district serving area of production and market connecting those with each other within the main highway then mdr used for only low speed and responsibility of construction and maintenance of this road lies with district authorities however state government gives a grant to the development and maintenance of the road for state highway and national highway national or central government gives the grant for the development and maintenance and for the major district road state provides the grant and district is the district authorities are the major authorities which will work on that road then other district road this road like these are this road of uh, other district road other district road are the road which serving rural areas of productive production providing them with outlet to the market centers taluk headquarter block headquarter etc then village road are the road which provide access to the villagers to the other district road means we can say like in example here is a state here is a state between state to state there is a nh and nh is also running throughout the country means outer boundary of the country then here is another state then from this state from this state sh is running and from in this state district headquarters is here here is will run major district road from the village we run other district road inside the village we will run village road so with this we will complete today topic in the next topic we will study about road geometrics okay thank you